You yeah. think that kind of love exists? You know, I really do. I, I don't know that I would have said that a, a year or so ago, but I happened to fall in love in the last couple years. So society is obsessed with aging and not aging specifically. Right. And this movie kind of does the reverse. What did you what did you want to show? Well, like you said, I mean, we live in a world so consumed with with youth and vanity that um, a story about uh, the beauty and growing old is something I hadn't seen and something that I think, uh, you know, deserves a little attention because there is, there is a beauty in the fact that our lives are finite and um, Adeline certainly explores that idea. So that, that for me, just a, a, a unique theme and story like that was um, too good to pass up. I think women around the world are going to be thanking you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> um, well, I have doctored some photos to hypothetically age two people you know. Oh my goodness. Okay. Right. First of all, can we guess who they are? All right. This is exciting. Okay. That looks like Blake Lively. 40 years from now, right? Wow, she still looks pretty good. I'm not surprised. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was the best part about working with her? You know, Blake is, um, she's a bit of an old soul and, yeah. and she's so smart. You know, those two things, um, even in our first meeting, I could, I, I got a sense that she just carries herself in a way that very, very few 27 year olds do. And, um, and so to see her come to set every day and really want to um, delve into a woman who's carrying a, a century's worth of experience with her, that was, that was exciting. And, and just, you know, she's, again, such a sophisticated person that all of her ideas about character were so spot on and really elevated the movie in a way that I think surprised all of us. Cool. Yeah. How about this guy? Who's he? That looks a bit like McKeel. I love this sort of silver fox beard he's got going. <laughs> he still looks good too. He looks great. You've I'm not surprised. You've got some pretty people in this movie. They're both very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there an era that you would want to live in? God, you know, this is, is such a cliche answer. Um, I would have loved to have seen the Beatles perform. So probably, you know, somewhere between 64 and 70 would have been a good era. Maybe closer to 64, because yeah. it was sort of before we, you know, lost our innocence in, in a sense. Um, uh, that era would have been a lot of fun. We get a little bit of the 60s in Adeline. That was yeah. that was a, sort of a fun vignette to, to explore. But yeah, probably probably mid-late 60s would, would have been mine. So watching the film last night, the romanticism on screen is something I haven't seen in a long time. It was this really deep love. It kind of reminded me of something you don't feel except for your first love. Right. And I want you to be honest with me. Do you yeah. think that kind of love exists? You know, I really do. I, I don't know that I would have said that a, a year or so ago, but I happened to fall in love in the last couple of years and I'm getting married in, in the fall. And um, it was for me one of those, you know, for, for both my fiance and I, we had dinner one night and uh, and by the end of the dinner, we were both like, well, this is it, we're done. We're, this is, we're gonna spend the rest of our lives together. And I didn't buy into that idea until it happened to me, so, um, you know, when you meet someone who you feel like you've known for many lifetimes, as I think Adeline and Ellis do, it's immediately apparent. And I, I'm, I'm maybe a hopeless romantic. I kind of believe that it does exist. Was that was meeting your future wife kind of serendipitous with filming the movie? You know, funny enough, it was. Um, I met her at uh, Sundance, where my last film was playing, and we had this sort of long courtship and then finally on our first date it was it was immediate and then that pretty much like the film yeah and then pretty much right away um, I started making this movie so it was it was uh, you know kind of a salient time in my you know in, in my my own love story so it was uh, I think well timed in making Adeline very cool thank you for your time thank you Daniel anytime and for more videos you don't want to miss, click to the left to check out the Divergent Slaying Game and click to the right to check out Scott Eastwood from The Longest Ride playing Never Have I Ever.